Okay, so here we are inside our GoDaddy dashboard. And this is the product view of the dashboard itself where you're working inside GoDaddy and it's a display of every product that you have. So as I scroll down here, this is a brand new site and it's what your dashboard will look like the first time you log into GoDaddy. So if you are logging in for the first time, you're going to see this. It's going to be the new products. As they're, they're going to encourage you to use the new products that you just purchased. Or they'll have it, you know, if you've already logged in before, you might just see a tile like this. Or it could be, look something along these lines where the product stack is just stacked on top of each other. So since what we're working with is our website, what we want to do is we want to go to websites and marketing and manage it. I'm going to come back to this screen and I'm just going to click on this tile, which is going to help me get started with my website for the first time. So what we've going to have going here is I'm going to get to choose using keywords what I think my site's going to be about. So if you are a massage therapist, it's going to bring up a themes and pictures that are consistent with being a massage therapist. If you are a restaurant, it's going to bring up themes that are built around being a restaurant with that are things that are already built um, as if you are a restaurant so that you already have the menu items and econ and all of the different things that you need for a restaurant. If you're a professional or business or a financial sector or a local business, those themes will be built specifically or the themes that GoDaddy brings up will be built and modeled after best practices for your individual industry. So for the purposes of this website, I'm going to go ahead and um, let's say I'm a massage therapist. So you can see when I type in massage therapist, it's going to bring me lots of different choices. So I can be, a, you know, are you sports, are, you know, are, do you do sports massage therapy? Do you wear, are you a, a general massage therapist? Massage in general, you know, just massage, a massage school speech therapist. Uh, I guess that's because it's picking up therapists. Are you a day spa? Do you do physical therapy? Do you do counseling? So let's say that I am going to, I am a massage therapist. Actually, I want to edit this out. I don't want to do that. I want to go, let's say that I am a sports massage therapist. Then I'm going to click on next. And then I'm going to put in sport. I'm going to put massage therapy. So you're going to type in the title of your site. This is the name of your site. So it might be your business name. It might be what you do. Um, it can be sports massage medicine. It can be whatever your business is. You're going to type that in. Then you're going to click next. And voila. GoDaddy has built a website for you with images that are consistent with what, um, with what massage therapy or sports massage therapy might be. And it, this is what it looks like. If we can actually preview this site, I'm going to go ahead and edit, exit out of this. They do have little, little cues here. Choose a theme, click on Emily, you know, it kind of tells you what to do. I'm going to exit out of that. And so this is what a massage therapy, a sports massage therapy website would look like. So it's going to have images over here. And if you don't like this theme, you can using the control panels over to the right. There are three control panels. The first one is the website itself, which is the control panel for the what you see is what you get website editor. So when I click on the header image, it's going to, you, you see this image over here. It can be aligned to the left. It can be aligned to the middle. It can be your mind aligned to the right. You can, so you're going to make the edits here and I'll go into that more in depth later. And then there's three boxes. So this is just, a, you know, the theme that they installed for us based on sports massage therapy. Now, let's say that I want, I don't really like this layout right here. I don't like the menu over to the left. I want the menu to look a little bit differently. So now what I can do 
So I have three different control panels over here on the right. So the first one, as I said, is managing the website itself, making changes to that. The second is the theme and I can, I, where I'm able to change the theme colors and the fonts and I'll go into that a little bit more in depth. Uh, but what you're doing here is like, say I've got, um, this is kind of all gray. It's sort of boring. Well, it's not boring. It's a very clean looking site, but maybe I want a little bit more splash of color. I'm going to try a new look. Actually, let me go back to, well, I'm here now. So try a new look is going to allow me to change the look and feel of the site itself. So you can scroll down here and, and choose a layout that you might find more comfortable for your business. So here's one that says book online. I'm going to click on that one. And you can see how it looks very different than the first site. It's, so you've got the image across the top, the menu, massage therapy here. This would be, this is where your, your site name is. This is a little bit more traditional site. One I'm more comfortable with. I prefer this look than the other one. Um, so you can try a new look over here and you can, you can just take a look and see what do all of the different, this is what's I think installed. Now let's see which one is installed right now. I don't remember, but like that, let's look at this one. Um, so this one again is a more centered image and book online and all of the same elements are still here. Just a little bit of a different layout. If I want to change the colors, I can do that. Let's say I want to be orange. I can be orange and um, then it's going to change all of the, the, you can preview, you can see that the lines color, the change, that kind of stuff change. So I can preview this, take a look and see what it looks like. So that the text is orange, um, the boxes are orange. So that's how you're able to make those kinds of changes. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit the site. And I really don't like these massage therapy. I'm going to pretend that I don't like this massage therapy. I want to, I don't want to be a sports massage therapist. I want to have a day spa um, instead. So I want to have my website be about being a day spa. So what I can do is I can go to the settings tab over in the control panel for the website. And this is, this settings tab kind of controls the engine of the website itself. It's not the top layer. It's not what the, the engine, what the website looks like necessarily, but it is, gives the basic information that helps Google find you. It, um, gives you the, um, you know, your social media links, your favicon, which is the little image that shows up here in the top of a web of the, of the browser. Um, search engine optimization. So this is what helps Google find you. It's really what, what's used more for Google to read and help you find and, and um, it controls over, you know, features that are consistent throughout the whole site, but you're not, you're not going to play in this settings section very much. You're going to set this up from the very beginning and occasionally you might go in and make some updates. But as a general rule, most of the time you're going to be working from this website menu tab right here. But I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to reset my themes. So to do that, I go to settings, which is the far right tab in the upper left hand corner, upper right hand corner. I'm going to go to site history and I am going to click on reset my website. It's going to say, do you want to start over? Yes, I do want to start over. And I want a website that's going to be about runners. And let's see. So we're not going to be looking for anything along those lines. So let's say run running. Let's say running. So this is going to be sports. So let's say we're going to look at sports site. It's going to pull something along these lines up. And I'm going to click next. So now you see it's a completely different feel. Um, we're talking more about an athlete. So this is an, a website that would be for swimming or sports and review. Maybe you are, you know, so it's a layout. You're, what you're able to do by doing this, by, by using the keyword search, you're able to look at some different themes and images and feels that you might not have access to or know about 
if you only use the, the terms that are consistent with your business. Most of the time, you using massage therapy or using restaurant or using professional is going to be fine and then you're going to make those edits. But I wanted to show you how to reset the theme using keywords. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go to site history again. I'm going to reset the website and I'm, this time I'm going to choose day spa. And I'm going to click on day spa. I'm going to click next. Next again. And here is a layout that they suggested for me this time, which is a really simple kind of calm image this way. Not crazy about it. So I'm going to go to theme. I'm going to try a new look. And I like the looks of this. So I'm going to choose this look right here because this is, to me, this is a, a look that I would like. It's a different image. Um, again, the same elements are still here. There's the Instagram, the About Me page, join, reviews, all of this. And we'll be working with how to make edits and changes on this. But the purpose of this video is to really help you understand how do you find the theme that you're most comfortable with for you? And you do not have to have, if you're a massage therapist, you don't have to use a template that's specific for massage therapy because we can change out images. But the best practice is to find a, a theme that's consistent with your business. It'll already kind of become pre-populated with some of the key elements that people are going to need and that your business is going to need that are consistent with the industry that you're in. Um, or if you want to just be, you know, outside the box, you can go back and close settings, site history, and I can reset the website, start over. And this time I'm going to look for a Mexican rest. Oh, a beach resort. I like beach resort. Just I'm playing right now. Um, so if I'm going to click next again. And this would be what your website, what they would suggest having if you were a beach resort. So you kind of get the feeling, different images, all of the, many of the elements are the same, but this is more kind of for a hotel. They've got massage therapy, front desk hours. Um, so you can play with different keywords to find something that you love in terms of a feeling and a style. And then we'll layer in the images later in the next few videos. So hopefully what we were able to explain to you or show you in this video is how to set your theme um, and how to use the menu items of the control panel to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. So website here, this controls the elements of on the home page or on the page that you're working on. Theme controls the colors and the fonts, and then settings controls kind of the engine that's hidden most of the time under the hood. This is the under the hood stuff that is going to be where you're going to put in your cookies for your Google and Facebook pixels and marketing stuff. It's going to be where you put in your search engine optimization keywords and things like that, and also where you're able to find your um, site history and make any in, make any changes and and if you want to restore a previous version you're able to do that so let's say that I want to restore this one whatever this one might be because I made a mistake and I is now my restore is complete and see it how it just restored back to um, one of these it was an earlier site that I was working on as I was playing with this so that's how you work with choosing your theme so your goal now is to take a few minutes and go play with the keyword finder, find a theme that you love, find a look and a feeling and the colors and, and we'll make some changes. There are limited ability, ability to make changes to colors. So kind of start with one that has a feeling that's, you know, that's comfortable for you. And in our next video, we'll actually start working with the home page and the elements of the page and um, so that you're able to start making the changes with the images and texts and things.